while the market is closed and I'm happy very happy to say that I'm finally back home uh, after the fires in Malibu and um, my family's home survived today I'm going to talk about the million dollar secret for ringing the cash register on one day waterfalls as traders obviously we're all looking to capture big moves in the shortest time frame risk has to be measured by how long one is exposed to the market not just an absolute returns today I'm going to walk through some million dollar secrets I've learned over the past 30 plus years as a trader in order to uh, capture big moves in um, in a day first and foremost fast moves often come from false moves also fast moves often come when least expected when there are no risks there uh, sirens blaring Tuesday was such a setup why as we offered in our report after Monday's Trump trade truce rip higher on the heels of last week's Fed Powell coup as to interest rates there were there was a virtual one-two knockout punch to the bears the Powell push was a 60-point S&P rally that saw the index reclaim the midpoint of the year that's this move here let me uh, let me actually go to a an easier chart to look at here we go so the um, the pal push last week was a 60 point move 60 point rally that saw the index claim the reclaim the midpoint of the year at 2737 that's right about here so it reclaimed it on a closing basis then on Monday the index exploded 40 points on the open on a supposed truce with China apparently this was just an ad for Howie Mandel's return of deal or no deal we went on to state in Monday morning's report that any reversal or Tuesday morning's report I should say that any reversal left the market in a significantly weak position why because the vast majority of shorts had cried no moss and capitulated with the one-two rally punch leaving scant buying fuel if the market turned back down likewise with the perception of a possible successful W bottom right here on this November 20th test of the late November bottom uh, with that perception it had the bull jumping on the train fearing it was leaving the station for new highs on a Santa rally into year-end a meaningful downturn a failure here put the bulls in a position of having to puke up new longs at the same time there was little buying fuel to be provided from the bear camp so this combo of shorts having covered for the most part and long is doing an about face set up Tuesday's waterfall decline as we stated in Tuesday morning's report if the S&P moved back below 2760 it could panic again and here's the 2760 level right here here's the gap up on um, Monday above the 200 day this uh, magenta line and uh, we'll go to the 10 minute to see how the market accelerated lower once that gap was offset this is part of the million dollar secret to capturing big one day moves a gap up occurs let's go to the 10 minute now so here is Monday's gap up and a gap occurs when the market is out of balance when buyers swamp sellers or vice versa Monday the index gapped up with authority clearing its 200 day in the process 200 day moving average these gaps are inflection points if an item offsets a gap in short order it is a sign of a reversal of fortune often again fast moves come from false moves Further on in this video, I'm going to walk through a handful of stocks to show how this played out in some individual names. Be that as it may, when the S&P knifed below Monday's gap at 2760, the wheels came off with a collapse all the way back down to 2700, leaving one of the largest decliners in 2018.
It was the classic case of fast moves come from false moves. For example, on Monday, the S&P, let's go back to the uh, dailies. It looks like I'm not getting anything now, so I'm going to have to restart this, see what the issue is technically. Huh. All right, let me restart this. I'll be back.